This presentation is about how to create an encounter in the Division of Behavioral Health Centralized Data System. Hi, I'm Bob Bussard. I am the staff member of the Division of Behavioral Health and responsible for the end user experience. Once you log on to your account in the CDS, highlight the left index tabs and click on Add Encounter. Creating an encounter is the first step toward admitting a person to services. Everything in CDS starts with a search or creating a new encounter or a combination of the two. This presentation is about creating a new encounter. Here is the first of two screens used to create a new encounter. This screen establishes the consumer's identity. The elements of this screen include the client ID on the left side, which is a unique ID across the state for each consumer. This element should be used only if you have the consumer ID. Otherwise, use the variables on the right panel to identify the consumer by last name, first name, and date of birth. Social security number, zip code, and gender are tiebreakers in the event there is a question. No matter what method you used, the end user will only see the information about consumers for whom the end user has permission to see. This permission is set at the location of the end user or for the agency the end user is employed. Changes to end user permission can be made through the location agency super user. This is an example of a managed encounter page for an encounter within the test site. Information here is fake and used for training purposes. Note that there is a client ID just under the name along with the social security number. We've used the consumer ID from the last record to show how specific the consumer ID will be in the list of consumers that match the variables of this first screen that establishes the consumer identity. Most likely, you will not know the consumer's ID. In that case, you will use the panel on the right side of the window. If this were correct, just simply collect, select, click on the Select button to start a new encounter for this individual. For best results, you will need to have the last name, date of birth, and first name. Although you can, as you will see in the next few screens, fewer elements can be used. On this screen, we use only the date of birth to locate a person, a list of persons. This might be a situation you run into as you try to narrow the list of consumers you have permission to see from among your location or agency's list of consumers. Permissions, again, are established at the location level within the centralized data system. To select a consumer, click on the Select button. In this try, we look for a first name to determine if a consumer was previously seen by this location. Again, the amount of information available to the end user is based on the permissions for that location. Click on the Select button, or if none of the list com listed consumers is the person you are working with, click Create a New Encounter. If you do believe the person is new to the location or agency, once again, you can click on Create New Patient Record. The second screen of Create a New Encounter window is where the services are indicated. On this screen, choose from among the drop-down choices of the provider location, funding region, and services to be provided that you as the end user have. Each person has their own list of options in the variables as permitted in your user ID. Carefully select the choice from among the drop-down menus. Your permissions were set when the with the help of the location agency super user. If you need to change them, contact your agency or location super user. Please note, 
When a social security number is available, it is displayed. If the social security number is different than that you get, please report a data issue and give any corrections within the report a data issue form. Report a data issue is a secure transmission between you and the Division of Behavioral Health. The social security number will be checked and revised as necessary. That is how you create a new encounter in the centralized data system. Once again, carefully select from among the choices provided to you. Some people have many choices. If you make a mistake, you can cancel and start over, or once created, can report a data issue. Again, thank you for the work you do to support recovery among the population we serve.